the question is, perhaps um, as some people might say, uh, Eddie Alexan is a member of the church. And of course, the members of the church want to support want to support one of their own, and I don't blame them for that. But the question is, uh, some of these eleven thousand people who supported Eddie Alexan are not members of any church, and I have spoken to people who are not uh, who are not religious at all, who said to me that uh, they have invested money with Eddie Alexan, and they have received the promise profit every week without any problem so here's the thing is Eddie Alexan a savior of the Haitian community or is he a uh, fraudster as the government say now we have 11,000 people saying he's a savior and we have the government saying he's a foster the question is what do you believe now we can talk about what the government is saying in terms of um, the uh, the loss, the six million dollars loss, which I talked about before. We can talk about the fact that uh, they were recruiting other investors, but I have un uncovered, discovered information where Eddie Alexander was in a video made it very clear to uh, the members of Emini FX that they are not to recruit people because the goal of Emini FX was not to recruit people. It was really to provide a platform for people to be able to invest and make money and get their financial freedom. So you can imagine why I find this case so interesting.